All right, so apparently Mr. Beast is supposed to be getting sued. Have you guys heard anything about this? Not at all. Nothing um, right. sued? I heard the only allegation I know about is the Chandler stuff. Or who's that guy? No, that, he's, he's the, the transgender. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Who's that guy that, yeah that's, that's, that's all I know about Mr. Beast. That's She is such a bad oh. though. What? what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, okay, yeah, that's fine. I, I've seen stuff on TikTok, you know what I'm saying? Just like the, how they got like the knockoff uh, Lunchables or whatever. From with the whatever, which I can't remember the Paul brother, whichever yeah. one. And then KSI, you know what I'm saying? And they had like a, they had a Minecraft YouTuber, YouTuber calling him out. Yeah, yeah, some like Minecraft <laughs> YouTuber was like, guys, what are we doing anymore? I was like, dang. I so that's that, pretty much all I know. Yeah, so pretty much we're about to watch this video. Hopefully it sums up everything so we just see what's going on. If there's information that, you know, we feel like we should know that we didn't see in this video, let's know um, below in the comments. We'll read all of them. Let's go. Mr. Beast exploded. Okay, it was repressing. Yeah, yeah. Is it oh, no, 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 I hit it twice. So yeah, it's really good. No, stop. You stopped it. See, this is why I needed this. this I was happy about that. Like, Y'all know what's going on now. Before I was like, me watching, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> She said she wanted me, but she wanted back. <laughs> well, guys, we are once again back. Guy couldn't read it, you had all well, this guys, time. We are once again back. Now, I don't think it's going to surprise any of you to hear that we are once again adding to the Mr. Beast drum. I'm glad you paused it. This How do. I was gonna say people that make these videos, they voice be sounding the same. Like I know it's a like they do it, but yeah, like yeah. like they voice like how do they always? It always sounds like it's the same person. All right, so it sounds like today, it's the same as that person. It's so annoying. Yeah, I'm glad you guys like. I was thinking about it. I'm like, oh, I think it's cool. I think it's very um e easy on the ears. You know, it's easy to listen to. No, I don't like it. Really? I hey, like what's up, guys? So basically, today what we're gonna do is the Mr. Beast allegations have just got very it's like that's how you do it. That's what it is. I don't like that. What do you, I'm a hey, so guys, uh, today uh, like. Well, Let's try to get through this. Mr. Beast is finally getting sued. Whoa. Amazon sued? Amazon sued. Wait, Amazon sued by, by contestants, contestants on Beast Games competition show with allegations including sexual harassment and chronic mistreatment. So, like, I'm reading, I'm reading this. Why is this, why is this in here right here? Because it was his stuff. No, take this out. Amazon sued by contestants on Beast Games. Like, like Mr. Beast. Amazon sued, like, I don't, I'm not a I'm was, saying Mr. Beast and Amazon were both sued. Like, Mr. Beast. Oh. And, you know yeah. Okay. I'm yeah, sorry. yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Did you watch it? No. Did you watch it? No. Beast games? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. exactly. I, don't know. I, say, I, I, I don't really watch Mr. Beast for real. Yeah, Beast yeah. games sound a little freaky. I can't lie. <laughs> <laughs> you know what that reminds me of? <laughs> Have you seen the guys with, like, the throat tattoos and they be saying things? You got, like, <laughs> limitless throat. <laughs> <laughs> Limitless throat. What a what throat? Bless. Say, <laughs> <Bless. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so, yo, your throat game is blessed. <laughs> the bro had a whole goat on his throat. <laughs> he said that throat goat. <laughs> caught up with everything that's happened recently everything that's been surrounding mr beast for the last few months you might think that's kind of a weird thing to say to be like oh somebody's finally getting sued i get that so just in case you're a normal person who doesn't spend their time following the legal troubles of online celebrities let's start from the beginning it all started with somebody named Ava. have you i've watched some mr beast videos like this like challenge ones i'm like bro it put me in that show i'm a freak bro i'm a what <laughs> <laughs> bro said I'm a freak, bro. He said put me that I'm a freak. <laughs> you got it, bro. <laughs> you got it. No, no, no. Like hey, if when, you when I get sued for sexual harassment, <laughs> said I, I was in beast. I, I, I will sue. <laughs> Do whatever you want to me. <laughs> As you might imagine, there's just a little bit too much information for a quick, clean recap. At this point, it's been like three months of constant that. controversy. <laughs> I mean, seriously. At this we came to you. Yeah, what? like, the heck you talking about? Everything is making it longer. He was hit with a lawsuit filed by a number of contestants who participated in the now infamous Beast Games. And that's what we're going to be going through today. This is sort of a yeah, continuation of the whole. Like, have you seen that on Nick? The game where they have to, yeah, like, uh -huh. you yeah. have to memorize the That's yeah. exactly mm -hmm. what I was thinking. Bump, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. And they would always get it wrong. I'm like, you guys yeah, I remember. I was like, it's right there. It's right there. They're like, uh, uh, uh. I'm like, bro, put me on that show. If it's me, I'm running right here. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. I'm jumping. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah. boom, easy. Uh, yeah. All right, let's get it. Trying to achieve. So there's That's gonna be a lot, lot of reading in this video, yeah. so if any of you article or a few but statements that were made out this just sounds like words, like, it doesn't even just, sound. Just smack you in the face. Yeah, yeah, like, God, like, it's like he's not even saying I can't lie, I didn't hear a word he said in the past five minutes. He's like, I was like, watching the video, and I was like, I forgot what was going this on. This guy was here. <laughs> anyway. It makes you want to watch a Mr. Beast video. You know what? Let, let's, let's go look. <laughs> let's, uh. Oh, wow, we should look at the article like, ourselves. Yeah, like, like, let's just find out what, uh. Yeah, what, what happened. happened. Cause that guy did a horrible. Let's just figure out what his lawsuit is. Cause yeah. you should be able to just look that up. Just think, what did he do? He's gonna uh, do a uh, uh, like this. I was gonna say do controversy, but yeah, that's fine. Reading an article. Pretty much. He's two star must be sued by contestants of his reality competition show. Allegations that production of the show was rife with work. Place abuse included denial of pay, unsafe on conditions, a culture of misogyny and sexism. Wow. So it's not Mr. Beast himself. It's just people that were hired to shoot that one episode. I'm assuming that in while he was filming, while they were on set, that stuff was happening and he wasn't doing anything. Oh, right, let's look at this right here. Ah, okay. Ooh. <laughs> he said, Ooh, ah. <laughs> Mr. Beast, the prominent YouTuber, and Amazon are facing a class action lawsuit filed by contestants of the Beast Games reality show. The lawsuit, lodged in Los Angeles Superior Court, accuses them of insufficient wages, unpaid overtime, and severe mistreatment on set. Hold on, hold on. So, is this the contestants or the workers? I guess, well, the contestants are the workers. Payment. Contestants are the workers, though. You know okay, so what? They get paid for being there? I would imagine, right? Like, have you ever... I, I feel wouldn't like imagine. Oh, it's a game if show. You, if you were not here to, yeah. for a chance to win a million dollars, like... No, I'm not like, paying you nothing. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I you're getting a chance of a lifetime. That's what I see. So I didn't know that... I'm just, I didn't know that... Okay, I, I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe you're right. Like, it's the... I mean, workers. I don't know. That's what... I'm, we gotta learn more. So, <laughs> allegations of sexual harassment and physical injuries sustained during filming in Las Vegas. Contestants claim they were deprived of basic necessities such as food, sleep... Go home! <laughs> what, what are you talking about here? It's like, drive yeah. back home. You drove here. Maybe drive back home. Like, nobody was forced to be in here. Like, so maybe they had, like, a contract, though. Maybe. No. Like, I don't know how... You signed it. Yeah, like, come on. Like, we, come they, on. they didn't know what they were getting into like nah, that. Man. Like, I'm gonna be true. Right like, now, like, of course, right it's now. Like NDA, like, of course, like, yeah, yeah, but like, like so far, it just sounds like sensitive people. Yeah, and, and yeah, that's the that era we're moving into. We're moving into a more sensitive era. I mean, where everything is, oh my God, this happened to me. Ah, okay, but. We, I gotta hear more to really know, but right now it just sounds like they're just complaining about nothing. Yeah. In medical care while competing for a five million dollar prize, advertised as you competing for my five million dollars. What you crying about? If You're I'm competing. competing for five mil, I'm staying in there no matter what. You can kill me. Like, <laughs> like they made the decisions. The largest like. in television and streaming history. Additionally, contestants allege they were misled about their chances of winning and have not been compensated for, sure. for business-related travel expenses. The lawsuit also accuses the defendants of providing false information to the state of Nevada to secure unwarranted tax credits. The lawsuit... Oh, they want them to pay them for them leaving yeah. their jobs. Yeah, you know what I was just going to say? These people are idiots. They want money. They're idiots. They want to get paid because they decided, I'm going to go play the Beast games and I'm not going to go to work. And I need to be compensated for that because I thought I had a chance. I thought I had a better chance at winning. They're saying they that won't. is the stupidest thing I've ever heard in my life. If that's what we're talking about right now, they're not saying it's just that because they're not compensated. They're just saying that's that, what I, yeah. and they've been saying like, and what? and they were felt like they were mistreated and all that stuff. That's what mistreat. It's get. I watched this man. They met. They had games where they got people sitting in rooms with freaking deprived. Was sitting with roaches. Deprived. Deprived that you couldn't eat nothing. And you sit in the dark. Like that's what they do. They offer you a chance for money, and you have you're in. Obviously, you're not yeah, gonna be yeah. in the conditions of your home. You know, like, you know what it is. It's just that I think he's very—he's a rich person. You see him like he's very rich. You know what I'm saying? He's giving out money, he's doing all this. So, so in my mind, I'm feeling like some people were thinking, if I create a way for him to get sued and he has to pay me money, I don't even have to work hard for this five million. I could just say, "F it, I, I want some money now." You know what I'm saying? I don't want—I'm not gonna—you know what I mean? Let me see. What it also here. seeks punitive damages. 
As of now, representatives for Mr. Beast, whose real name is Jimmy Donaldson, and Amazon government. haven't responded to media inquiries for comments. Yeah, I wouldn't need that. For more about that. That. <laughs> 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 guys reporting, download the Street Arrow News app. Nah, I won't be doing that. Okay, at least from what I've seen here, obviously I don't know the whole backstory. That's why y'all gotta let us know in the comment section below if there's more to it. But from what we report we just saw here, people that came to contest on the game show, they said contestants. Unreasonable, unsafe, and unlawful. You signed you, it! You signed you, the contract! You came out of your way, missing school, missing picking up your child from daycare, missing babysitting, whatever it might be they're supposed to be doing. You left that, and you came here to record. I don't care who, <laughs> I mean, not, not, I say, well, I don't care what happens to you. But, like, there's no way they were in some tornado or something. Like, come on, you know, like, they're fine. Like, <laughs> I mean, no, no, I just, like, in, in my mind, people were just, like, they were thinking, oh, how can I get a bag? How can I get a bag? How yeah. can I get a bag? You know what oh, I'm saying? Amazon is part of this? And Mr. Beast? Okay, bet. Oh, bet. You know what I'm like, saying? I'm going to just say they did this to no me. Matter, no matter if they didn't do nothing, I'm going to try. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to try. Like, okay, <laughs> listen to this. According to the lawsuits, contestants were at various times deprived of food, sleep, and oftentimes proper medical care. The lawsuit also claims multiple contestants suffered physical injuries and were hospitalized while filming the show. In addition to being fed sp uh, sporadically, pretty much, and being denied reasonable medical care, the plaintiffs also claimed that the conditions were so bad during the filming of the show that production company eventually offered to pay the contestants for therapy sessions. For therapy? But they offered to pay. I'll pay for your therapy if you that messed up, Jack. I'll pay for your therapy. If you're... To but me, I'm... yeah, you're helping their case. The food, I don't care about the deprived of food, sleep, and all that. It's a show that you decide to get on yeah. for to win a chance to win $5 million. You, if you watch Mr. Beast content, this is not nothing that's new. Yeah, 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 if you've yeah, seen yeah. stuff that you do, he they literally do stuff where, of course, there's a chance you could get injured. You, you're doing freaking activities and you, anything you could get injured from. Of course, there's, you mean there's times where you have people sleep deprived. You're in a game. You're, you mean things got to be on a schedule. Da, 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 like, yeah. I personally don't feel like they did nothing wrong. I mean, I don't. I feel like people always try to, but at the same time, I wasn't there. I, mean, I was gonna say maybe, and maybe we don't know the full thing. You know what I'm saying? We maybe definitely don't know the full thing. Game. We have no clue, realistically. But from what I've seen, and also just like with how long he's been doing it, like they, like I'm sorry, his team knows that, and he knows know how to do. Doing. It. They know they're doing. No, they're doing. They're not purposefully making things happen. Sure, maybe if oh this was late, and oh yes, I would do this. Oh. As he has said, he offered for therapy. But like clearly, they knew something happened. And they're even willing to, but people just wanna. That's sue. what people that, I keep sue. telling you. They people just want. Sue. If I don't have a chance at a uh, five million, nobody's getting that chance. You know what I mean? I want money now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's my okay. Thing. While this document is heavily redacted in many sections, the plaintiffs also claim that the production crew fostered a culture and pattern and practice of sexual harassment. The lawsuit alleges that women were subjected to severe embarrassment. Which is, I mean, I guess, I don't know how to... Contestants, my bad. Contestants okay. were also not subject to background checks before appearing on the show, the lawsuit claims. So now they're mad that other people weren't checked for, backgrounds weren't checked to see if they were a, a sexual harasser or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you decided to go on the show. I'm sorry. I don't understand. But, I mean, I, can, I can't super agree with that, only because I feel like... Let's say I don't do a background check. Dude's a freaking serial killer or something like that. Or he's crazy. Guess like, what? You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. If bro's a serial killer, you yeah. shouldn't be walking the streets. Somebody else felt it their job. I mean, okay. let's be real. Okay. Mr. Beast People has a camera and he makes videos. That's what he does. I was say. That's what he does. Let's, let's, let's like, make sure we you understand that. My job, I feel like that's a failure somewhere else. When you look at, uh, when you look at those P cases, right? I think a lot of those people end up yeah. right back on the street. Okay. They don't really go to jail for no long time, and they do this to people. Okay. So I think that's a failure somewhere else. I don't think that's on Mr. B. I don't think I that's mean, on I their, wouldn't say yeah, it's on sense. him to have to do that, but I would say I can see where somebody's saying, like, okay, you didn't check this person like that, but I can see what you're saying, too. Like, I can understand both. I didn't check him, but I also yeah. didn't check you. Okay, no, I, I get it. And something yeah. I also want to say. <laughs> you, know? check you or you? Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I, I, I gave y'all, I treated everybody as equal humans. I gave y'all all equal value. Okay, yeah. No. I, I didn't single people out. I gave everybody a chance to win this five million. Up. Okay. And yeah. on top of, like, on top, on top, on top, on top of every single thing that's been said, of course, Mr. Beast is the face of it, but, like, he probably never saw any of these people. <laughs> he probably I mean, didn't see a single one of these people, unless they were on the... What do you call it? Big balls jumping. He didn't yeah. see any of them. 
you guys saying? He had nothing to do with choosing the people. He had nothing to do with even probably the people on his team chose the people that are gonna film that day. You get what I'm saying? Like, well, I mean, I don't know how many people it was, but in the things we saw, it was. So like I'm getting as like, so I don't think he personally okay. screen checked everybody. This so, is the last part right here. The big yeah. thing I just want to kind of refute is when people say, "Oh, Miss Beast is a bad person." It's like, come on. Like, it hmm. says, according to the lawsuit, a production handbook produced before the show stated, "It's okay for the boys to be childish and really do anything." You can to empower the boys when filming to help make content, help them be idiots. And they signed that. And they no, signed that. My thing is, it's a handbook, so it's just like. According to the lawsuit, a production handbook produced for the show stated. And the people who came on the show read the handbook. I'm assuming maybe. Okay. I don't know if it. I don't know. You know it what sounds I'm like this is just for like the people, like not the contestants, but more so the people working on the show. Like, okay. You know, like maybe a cameraman or helper is like, okay, help them be stupid and like get some reactions and content type stuff. Okay, now hold on. Now it's trying to say that they weren't volunteers. That would change things, but I don't see how that's not. I don't see how you can't be a volunteer because I'm not on a Mr. Beast. So I don't. I don't think this was a draft. I don't think they had names that they could just pull. Freaking. You signed first up for round it. So how's, draft it not, how's it not volunteer if you had to sign up for it? You had to do steps to get into it. Okay. So how's it not volunteer? No, but no, no, no. It's saying, saying these that, games misclassified contestants as volunteers. Yeah, they're saying that the volunteers or not volunteers. They're saying that the contestants knew they were contestants, but saying that people or the producers, or whatever, they said that they're like volunteers. That's what they're saying. Hmm. The. The contestants think they're contestants. The people who created the show, Mr. We'll say Mr. Beast, mm-hmm. they classified them as volunteers. Yeah, they are volunteers. They're volunteers and okay. they're contestants. Okay, they're they're, they're people that volunteer to be contestants. Okay, you know what right. I mean? Like, so I think this even sounds retarded. Okay, I mean, saying they're misclassified as volunteers. No, they are volunteers to be. Everybody knows Mr. Beast makes content. If you're now coming, yeah, you, he might say, oh, you have a win, chance to win $100, $1,000, $1 million. But at the end of the day, you understood that you're volunteering to be content for his video. Okay, yeah, yeah. Are, are we conf- what are we confused about? I think this is just a lack of people taking ownership of like the fact that you ultimately have the information you need to know if you want to get inside. You know what I mean? Like, like I said, I wasn't there in the actual conditions, but at the end of the day, you chose to go do this. You 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 chose to be a part of this. You wanted that chance. You know what I mean? And I guarantee you, for anybody that things played out right, they're not saying. You know I mean, if things went right, if they want some money, they wouldn't be yeah, saying crap. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nah. 100%. But yeah, I don't even think we need to read this section. But that's pretty much. I think it's just another. Yeah. People are trying to grab cash. You know when people do the smallest thing. You see those videos. That's what it feels like to me. You see those videos when someone's driving and the someone jumps on their car. That's what it is. Yeah, I even seen like a, a snippet of one of the Mr. Beast videos when they're all in there trying to win the cash and they had it on the floor and the girl like just put the cash in her shirt and then she she got out of the competition and just stole like a thousand dollars. Like I mean, like you got we're dealing with humans. Humans be messed up. Let's be real. I mean, yeah. No, you're right. You're right. Yeah, you be pretty evil sometimes. Though. Anyways, like I said, if we if we missing key information or something, let us know. You know what I mean. Cause I'm gonna look at it from all angles. If 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 they wrong, they wrong. If not, if not, you know what I mean. But let us know. You know I mean, anyways, that's all we got for you guys today. You know what I mean, I think, you know I, mean? I think Mr. Beast is being Mr. Beast. But yeah. anyways, like that's what we know him for to put on game shows. And y'all can be comfortable. And y'all gonna be the happiest person there because that's yeah. that's part of the game and the story. Yeah. But anyways, let us know what y'all thinking. Peace out. She my Ariel, my Cinderella, my Rapunzel. Huh. I pull on that long hair all day and night, cause I like how I flow. Huh. You say I'm not for real, but I do this, and I'm really like that. Huh. No talking back, huh. she know I'm gonna break that back. Huh. Huh. Yeah, she like to play games, huh? I play with her mind, she thinks she's.